I welcome you all to the second session of our integrated science class. I hope uh, the last session was successful. We've all been able to digest and understand everything that transpired in the previous session. We started going through some selected practical questions and the chemistry aspect of integrated science. And all the questions we are going through have been loaded to the WhatsApp page. If you haven't downloaded the questions, you can go back there and get access to the questions. In our previous class, we looked at question one and question two. Today we're going to continue by looking at question three, question four, and to time permit, we also look at question five. The first two questions we looked at were under separation of mixtures. Today we're going to look at another question which is also under separation of mixtures. That is question three. So quickly, let us start with question three. The question reads, the diagrams below illustrate three different laboratory setups labeled A, B, and C used in the separation of mixtures. It says, study the diagrams carefully and answer the questions that follow. So we have three sets of diagrams, A, B, and C. You are supposed to study these diagrams and then based on the diagrams, we answer the following questions. Question A says, name the separation method represented by each setup labeled A, B, and C. Question B, it says, which of the setup is used I to obtain clear water from suspension of chalk in water? I, I, to separate two immiscible liquids and I, 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 for crystallization. Question C says, state the modifications that could be made to the setup level B in order to separate a mixture of iodine and sand. And the last question, D, it says, name two mixtures that could be separated using the setup label C. Using the setup label C. So quickly, let's look at the questions. Question A. Question A says, name the the separation method represented by each setup labeled A, B, and C. So we're looking at question three. Question A is asking us to name the separation method represented by each setup. So setup A, setup B, and then setup C. Now, so uh, the setup A is a simplified diagram for uh, the filtration process. We looked at filtration process under question two. But this diagram, if you compare the diagram in A, uh, ask. To the, as compared to the diagram in question two, you can see that they are slightly different, but the A is actually uh, a simplified form of the diagram in question two. So your A is for separation involving filtration. So A is filtration. And then B, the set of B, the set of B, Is for evaporation and then the setup C is use of separation funnel. Okay, so these are the the various methods of separation illustrated by each 
set up. Okay, quickly let's look at question B. Question B says which of the setup is used to I I obtain clear water from a suspension of chalk in water. So the method used for uh, separating the components of a suspension of chalk in water is actually the method of filtration. If you, if you remember what we did in the previous session, you were supposed to give examples of mixtures that could be separated using the diagram in question two, which is the method of filtration. And we listed a mixture of chalk particles in water as an example of mixture that can be separated by the method of filtration. So the question B is asking us to state the setup that will be used to separate or to obtain clear water from suspension of chalk in water. So that is therefore the setup for filtration, which is setup A. 